This is going to be real cool, so listen up. I have with me Joey Bellis, and he's the owner of Higher Frequency Coaching. You've got to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do. Um, so I am a personal trainer uh, slash meditation personal development coach. Okay. And what does that mean? You know, a personal development coach as, and slash trainer. Yeah, so yeah, what does yeah. that mean? Um, just helping people to understand who they are. You know, what are they doing here on this earth? What are they passionate about? What do they love? What inspires them? How do they connect to people? How do they listen to people? How do they sp speak to people? How do they treat themselves? And so it started off as training because the body, right, mind, body, spirit. And then as I started working with people, I've been training people now for 14 years, just different things kept happening. And it's like, oh, like all of these uh, emotional issues that they carry, all these psychological issues, they just started pouring out on the workout floor. It always happens. Yeah. People get closest yeah. with their trainer. Yeah. And then, you know, that led me on my own path of personal development. Uh, when I was 26, you know, I had a really low place in my life and I couldn't figure it out. And that just sent me on a path of learning about myself and, you know, treating myself differently, which led me to treat other people differently. And so n then it just organically happened that people started reaching out to me and, hey, can you teach me about meditation? Can you teach me about this stuff? And I was like, Sure. Yeah, absolutely. like absolutely. So um, share the love. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's just totally taken on a life of its own. And I'm just one step at a time seeing where this thing goes. You got to talk about what you got here. First of all, before we get going, I want to talk about your logo and what that really means. It's pretty interesting. Thank you. Um, so, yes, this is uh, my logo. Long story short, it's about um, transcending to become something greater than you are, to believe in yourself in a way that is going to uplift other people. And we're all going to encounter suffering and fear, but if you can find meaning in that, you're gonna transcend into something greater than what you are. Absolutely, I really believe in that. Higher frequency coaching. This is a journal. And I know before you came on, when I talked to you the other day, you said, I really want to bring my journal and I want to talk about it. So let's talk about it. Yes. Uh, the reason I wanted to create a journal was because um, I think reading and writing is the key to unlock what's inside. And so many times we look for something else. You tell me, you show me, versus if you learn to look and listen and feel what's inside, it's going to come out. And it's a way to organize your life, organize your thoughts, organize your sleeping patterns so you can look and see what roadblocks are in my life. Why are they there? Study them and begin to remove them. I love it. I love it. So now, uh, do you obviously journal yes, every day? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I have collections of journals and that's why I wanted to you know, create a journal. Because so many people are like, you know, how did you become who you are? And I always tell them, I wasn't always this way. I, I wasn't like this. The person you're meeting today was not the person I was when I was 26. Well, let's talk about the person that was and now is. Mm. What were you? <sighs> I was an addict. I was addicted and I was depressed. I was angry. I was resentful, bitter, judgmental, harsh manipulative, a coward, and just like working on myself has totally unlocked these things inside of me that other people saw the whole time, but I didn't. And it wasn't until I sat down and started to write and read and listen, I started to unlock these things inside of me. Talk about the meditation and what you do. <sighs> So my meditation practices are a way for me to honor my ancestors, honor my teachers that have taught me, honor my mentors. You know, from different retreats that I've gone to, different courses, practicing fasting, sitting in sweat lodge. I've learned a lot. And so when I bring my medicine, it's a way to honor 
my ancestors and my teachers, from the feathers to the mopacho to the sage to my mother to my grandmother to Peru. Everything that has brought significant meaning in my life, I bring to meditation and teach people that meditation is part of your life. And there's meditation everywhere. If you slow down, you look, you listen, and you feel. Now, when you are doing your meditation, do you use all of these things at one time within that, or how does it work? Um, I do have certain things that I do each time, like I'll always sage the room, I'll always do a tobacco blessing, uh, I'll always use the fan, but then it depends on the people in the room and, and what, what they're going through. What do they need tonight? Do they need to feel listened to? Do they need to feel connected to? Um, do they need to listen and be still? When you're working with people, can you work with anyone from anywhere? Because it, it sounds like you don't just do one-on-one, on, on one, but you actually work with groups of people, too. Yeah, yeah. So I do both. I do one-on-one, -on -one and then I do group. And how do you do that when you're working with people? Um, in a group setting, uh, I really like a group setting because it, it forces people to be vulnerable in a group, and that's very scary for us to be vulnerable. And then when it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's a lot, not only vulnerable, but it's intimate. And that's where you can go deep into whatever it is you want to work on. Now, higher frequency. Why higher frequency? Higher frequency, uh, love or fear. So the more that you are vibrating on a frequency of love, that's when you feel inspired and compassionate and forgiving and kindness and beautiful. And when you're vibrating on a frequency of fear, that's when you're harsh and judgmental and angry and, and bitter. And so it's not love like a romantic love. It's like just a love of life. Okay, talking about frequency, okay, it's huge. Um, it's hard for people sometimes to meditate. Do you help them learn how to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> it's really interesting, right? I'm doing meditation and I'm, I'm wearing a tank top uh, and basketball shorts. Yeah, and, you don't look yeah, like the typical no, guy that no. would be doing that. And there, there's so many stereotypes when it comes to meditation. I have to look like this. I have to dress like this. I got to have a beard. I got to wear all white. And that's scary to people. That's not what meditation is about. Meditation is about listening here, inside, and taking it out into the world. It's not about a pose, it's not about a posture, and that's why I wanted to start the classes to I show agree. people, like, hey, anyone can meditate. You don't have to look like this, you don't have to act like this, you don't have to speak like this. You find meditation, and so for me, I just show people what I've learned. Take whatever it is that you want, and create your own. You know, every single morning, I take about an hour and a half, maybe more, and I write. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that would meditate, but I've realized after the three years that I've been writing every morning that I too am meditating, but in my own way. Yes. Is that, do you feel that's yes, the same? Mm -hmm. absolutely. And, and it's so beautiful that you do that, and that is a form of meditation. Uh, and then you find what works for you. And so my classes, or when I do one-on-one, -on -one, it's here are the tools that I've used. And I hope that you find your tools to go inside and self-study. Absolutely. When you're working with people, do you have your classes, do you have them listed on your website, or do people just kind of talk to you? Because you yeah, seem the, like that kind of guy, well, hey, why don't you join in? How does it work? Yeah, so I like when people contact me, because I do different classes at different places. I travel around, and I do it. Uh, so I would like to speak to them and then say, hey, I can teach this Monday or you can come to Sunday class or a Wednesday night class. Um, and then depending on where I'm at, I can kind of direct them from there. Do you only do this now or do you still do both? I still do both. And, and people have asked me that. And I say um, the body, the human body is so special. And for people to learn how to control it and push it and how to feed it, that's the baseline for what's inside. It starts so, from within, yes. and then of course you gotta take care of your yeah, body. Yeah. And you know something, if I can do this, and I love it when I do it, you can too. You gotta check him out on his website. This is really cool. Thank you.